Hello guys, what is up? It's Yoshi90901. Haven't seen you in a while. Sorry, my desk is kind of messy. This just arrived on the mail. I couldn't make a video because my SSD it has 256 gigs. It's now full because of games and all that other stuff. So I had to buy this thing. Uh, uh, it's not that heavy. I don't know why I'm making those sounds. <laughs> uh, let me close this up. I haven't opened this yet. Obviously, I did, but I didn't open it inside. It is a pluggable 3.5, 2.5 SATA HDD docking station. And it's 5 GPS, so it's really fast. It's USB 3.0, which you don't see many. And, uh, yeah. And you might be like, why did you buy this? That is because I have an uh, internal hard drive, this big thing that I have over there. I bought it accidentally because I was going to buy a new SSD for my computer, but I ordered a hard drive by accident. It's 500 gigs, and so this will really help me out with storage. But I was going to sell it on eBay, but I didn't want to use PayPal because I had a bad experience with PayPal where I, it's like, ugh, I don't want to even talk about it. But since I had one, I was like, it was useless to me. So I wanted to use it in some way, and I found this. And I think pluggable, if you're watching this, you did a very awesome job with this. I, I assume I haven't used it yet, I, as I said. It just came in the mail. Uh, so it has, can you read that? It has one. 3.5 SATA HDD docking station, one USB 3.0 cable, which I am very happy for because I need more, more more of these, more of those. What am I talking about? <laughs> Storing power adapter and user manual that I might read. And I think this works with SSD and hard drive. Pretty sure that's an SSD in that picture, and that's a hard drive in that picture, but I'm not sure. Okay, here we go. This is my first time. See, it's still in the, all these wrappers. Okay, so you get... This is the USB cable. I'll leave an Amazon link be, down below for... If you want to check it out. Oh, it's... Oh, I can't use it for any other device. Um, This one goes into your hard drive. And this one goes into your computer. Sorry if my lighting's getting weird. I don't know what's up with that, but oh well. So you get one of those. Uh, you get a power adapter to power up your hard drive cool design on the back can you see that oh whatever <laughs> it's not that cool uh and this is the docking station how do you get this out oh there's a tape on the bottom why is my lighting getting so weird maybe i have to move it closer okay yeah i think that's better i don't know Ugh, I haven't made a video in a long time. I'm very sorry for that. I just didn't have storage. Okay. Yeah. It's a... USB 3.0, the same thing that I was on the front. And, uh, as you can see, it's brand new. It's all glossy. Yeah, it's, it has a gloss finish. I'm not sure if that will attract fingerprints or dust which I don't want in any of things no, close to my computer. It has a ru rubberized uh, matte finish on the bottom of the thing. And it has a slot inside. Let me move my lighting so you can see. You see that? Yeah. It has the thingy inside which connects to your hard drive. I don't know the technical form right now. And the back is all matte with uh, four rubber so it doesn't slide off while using it one two three four and yeah, there's one in each corner and there are four corners so it guess how many rubbers there are so yeah I think they did a good job the design thing on this yeah the top is all glossy finish as you can see so it will attract a lot of dust and fingerprints but eh, what can you do um, so there's a power button right here to power up your hard drive and it has um this thing where it's in the windows logo if you used to use like a windows vista computer you'll know that logo i don't know if, if they still use it it's for like the hard drive symbol 
And this one, I think the material is different again. It's like sandpaper kind of, but it's not really sandpaperish, but it looks like yeah. it, it. It's a good contrast to the glossy finish. So you have a USB that you connect and a power jack, and that's it. So yeah, let me come back and show you how to hook it up. Okay, so I think you can see this. Yeah, let me just move it back just in case. Okay. Um, so this is your, okay, let me move my light closer so you can see. Our adapter, USB. I think they did really good with the packaging. Okay, move that aside. Don't lose this. I'm gonna put this under my desk. Keyboard thingy. Okay, sorry, just had a little interruption there. Uh, so let me open my hard drive. Now I know you don't want any static electricity, so I'm gonna make sure that. And there is the beast hard drive. Okay, so this is the hard drive that I never used. Okay, here it is. It's very wrapped. It was like this. Just in case you don't know how hard drives arrive. And it's in... Ugh. It's kind of heavy, but, you know, it's a hard drive. Uh, I don't want to damage this part. That's... Can you see that? Yeah. It's a Seagate company. It's made by Seagate. I'll include a link for this hard drive, too. I bought it for, like, 40 bucks. I heard it was not that bad. It's covered by an uh, anti-static plastic bag, so I need to make sure I don't get static electricity on this hard drive or there is a high chance that it might break. So let me get rid of my static in my fingers, because in the winter I'm very static electric. Just in case you don't know, this is made in winter. You can always check which date the video was made when you press the description. And I do write stuff in the description. Many people do not know that the description thing is still there. But it's still there. Okay, let me get scissors and stuff, and let's just do this. Okay, for me, this is my first time unboxing a hard drive, not an SSD. I'm pretty sure the procedures are the same, so touch something that's metallic to get rid of your electric electricity. Touch the USB thing. <laughs> uh, touch the Apple thingy. Pretty sure that's metallic, I'm not sure. Uh, touch the scissors. Touch, touch, touch. Be clear. Oh crap, I, I probably just built electric static electricity right there. Electric static electric. <laughs> okay, uh, let me touch the Jesus cross to make sure that I don't get it. Okay. Now we'll open this. Let's see if I can make the camera closer. And there we go. Okay, here we go. Hope I don't screw this up. I remember when I opened the CPU, I had that like electricity. There goes my CPU. Three hundred dollars, all gone. Uh, you don't want to touch the back. Don't touch this part. Okay. Okay. Slide it out like a banana. I don't know if that's how you slide out a banana. I don't know. That's the first thing that came to my head. Get out your adapter. I'm gonna be so sorry if this doesn't work. Okay. Uh, as you saw, there's a little thing in there and I connect it with here. Oddly, they don't have instructions on how to connect it, which I find is weird. Well, obviously it's common sense, but you know, some people not might know it. I might not know it. Okay. Static electricity, okay? Okay, it's okay. That's a hard drive right there, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. And plug it in. I think it's the long side, long side, short side, short side. So this should be okay. Dun da da da. Make that snug and good. Okay. It has worked, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so yeah, let me show you what it looks like in the computer. Okay, just before I transfer into my computer screen, I just show you just in case where you don't know where the cables go. So this thingy, the blue thing, that came with the USB. I uh, make sure the hard drive is nice and snug, but not too tight because you'll ruin the socket. 
<laughs> socket. Okay, put this in here. Just like this way. So the little big thing is at the bottom. And boom. And make... You're going to have some space between this where your fingers can get through, but it's okay. And uh, plug in your power, too. But I'll do that later. I have it jacked up, but okay. Not jacked up, what am I saying? Okay. I'll plug my USB, I'll show you what it looks like in the computer. Um, I might have to go to part two because this video is getting a little bit long. And if you do, it'll be out just after this. Like, if after you finish watching this, it's probably going to be up, so yeah. Oh, hey guys, um, it's been like two hours. Maybe not two hours, maybe like one hour and a half after telling you, let's do this. And it actually didn't recognize the hard drive, which was really annoying because it was like hard drive not recognized. I'm like, what? So I went on the website, said nothing else. So I was like, oh wait, maybe I need to format the hard drive. And it on Mac, you need to format your hard drive. So what you need to do is plug in your USB, well, your external hard drive, to your computer. Wait for it. And you gotta turn on your thingy. I'm gonna press the power button. The light's gonna shine blue in like about three seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, there we go. Light shine blue. And there it is. I already formatted mine, so it's right here. This is my hard drive, 500 gig of storage. And as you can see there. Now what you need to do is, uh, you either can press, press the F4 for the Mac, and go in other, and go to this cute utility. Or you can press this thingy, magnifying glass, and type disk, and it will come up. Either way is fine. So you, you might be freaking out like, oh my god, oh my god, why is it not working? <laughs> That's what I was saying. Uh, you need to click your hard drive, be very calm, go to partition, you gotta go to one partition, make sure it's one, and then uh, you can name your stuff, make it, it, make sure it's Mac OS extended journalized, and you just click apply. Oh, and options, when you click options, make sure it's the very top check mark, not the middle, there's three options, make sure it's the very top one, that's the one that you want to get, you want it to be checked. Uh, I'll pull up this guy's video. I don't know if he minds if I use it, but I'm not gonna put any audio, so I guess it's okay. I already did this, so I don't think I could do it. Yeah, click the options, and you want to get this one. You want to get this one when you click options over here. And then just click apply and wait for a few seconds, and it'll be right here. So, uh, what can you, what how, what can you use this for? So. My hard drive, actually. Uh, let me wait. Okay, wait. Okay, my hard drive is running out of my SSD. Actually, is running out of space, so that's why I bought this. So let me install Steam and Team Fortress 2. Put it on this, so I'll have 500 gigs of storage. I'll come back and see if that works. 